Okay, so I know the first thing I want to handle is my bobbin situation. So that's not good. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Goo Goo Goods. So about a month ago, my mom actually bought me the sewing machine as an early birthday present because she knew that I was interested in learning how to sew. So I finally got around to opening it up and I thought I would share my journey of learning how to sew with you guys. So I'm gonna preface this video by saying that I have actually never used a sewing machine before in my entire life and I've actually never even turned this one on yet. So we'll see how that goes, but I have watched a lot of YouTube videos about it. So I'm pretty confident that I know where to begin. So I haven't decided what project I wanna tackle first. I want to just do a couple basic stitches and try to figure out the whole workings of the machine before I decide on what project, but you'll follow along in this video and we'll figure it out together. My major goal from this is that in the coming weeks, I'll become proficient enough to be able to make some products to take to my in-person markets and to have on the website and hopefully be able to start making some clothes for me and my family. I know that was a lot of talking, so let's go ahead and get started and figure this out together. So as always, if you wanna see more behind the scenes business content and craft fair videos, then be sure to like this video and subscribe to keep watching. Okay, so I know the first thing I wanna handle is my bobbin situation. So to pop this out, get my bag of accessories, and I'll go ahead and close that up. So the first thing I want to do is get out It's my spool pet, my spool thread cap, and then an empty bobbin. First thing I need to do is get my bobbin threaded. So I got my bobbin. I've already got my thread going in the position it's supposed to. And then put it through the hole. Hold that. Whoa. It's pretty funny. Okay, now I'm gonna let go of that and see if that's fine. Full, you can cut that. say that that's good for now and then I'll cut that and then ta-da I've got a full bobbin So this is just a major first test run of me ever sewing. So I've got two pieces of fabric here that I'm not doing anything with. So I'm just gonna see what the tension is looking like. I probably should have used a different color bottom thread just so I could see if one of the colors was sticking out on top or bottom. But I'm gonna put these together and just see how it goes. So here is my straight stitch. I think it looks really, really good for my first one ever. 
I did have a little bit of an issue there in the beginning trying to figure out the back stitch, so this kind of looks a little bit rough. But other than that, I think that looks pretty stinking great. Let me pull it. So yeah, that's what it would look like on the other side. Um, sleigh. Project Runway. And then I'll just leave you that. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. So I could not be more pleased with how that went for my first time ever sewing. It's kind of tricky trying to figure out how much pressure you need to put on the presser foot. So hopefully as I get more acquainted with it, I'll figure out kind of that sweet spot. But yeah, I'm really happy with that and I'll probably call it on the sewing tonight and try again tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow and check in and I'll see what I come up with. Day two of learning how to sew and today I'm going to focus on learning how to use a seam ripper. So what I'm gonna do is take that fabric that I sewed last night and I will rip this seam. And then what I'll probably do is cut these edges to match a little better and then re-sew it. What I've seen is the actual way you're supposed to use this is put the red side down, not the pointy side down. So you're supposed to put red side down and then blast off. Consider those seams ripped. Okay, I also have the second layer that I did. Well, I got the two pieces apart, so I'm going to cut to make it a little more flat. I guess I'll use this other side. I'll cut to make that more flat so that it matches. Or I guess not more flat, but more straight. Cut these two straighter and match them up, and then I'll put them on my machine. I also bought one of these little metallic doohickeys that lines up with your seam allowance. So you can just like push your fabric against that, or not really push it against it, but glide it beside it so that you are always, you know, flat up against the seam allowance that you want. So let's try it out. Okay, I was just having a little bit of a bobbin issue, but I think we're good. I think we're good now. Hopefully, so let's try it. Let's try that again. I'm gonna go forward like a couple and then go back. Ah, I feel like I heard it do it again. Yeah, there's something, there's definitely something going on with like my bobbin or something. I didn't have my presser foot down either. Freaking A, dude. So day two learning to sew, end of the day update. Um, so a couple things happened while I was working and trying to like, you know, do a couple practice runs. There were a couple of instances where I ran into some very heavy birds nesting issues or like whenever I would try to start sewing my fabric would get almost pulled into the machine and stuck and then when i cut it out you could see there was a lot of bunching of the bobbin thread in the actual bobbin case so that's not good i did a couple of google searches to try to like figure out like what i could do and i did a couple of those things and it seemed to solve the problem but then it would happen again so when i opened the machine yesterday it was pretty clear to me that it was a return um i mean i don't mind if it's a return if it's gonna work but you, mean, you could clearly tell that it had been used before and that things have been opened. 
but I was afraid I couldn't tell if it was a problem with the machine or just a problem with me being new at sewing so I decided to go ahead and return that machine and get a new one this is just because I didn't want to constantly be worried in the back of my mind whenever something was wrong if it was me or if it was something to do with the machine being messed up and like that's why they returned it so I just went ahead and returned it and ordered a new one so that should actually be here tomorrow because Amazon is crazy um, so yeah so tomorrow I'll unbox a new one and see if I'm having those same issues that I was running into with this one also the reason I returned it I only had like two more days in my return window so I didn't want to like spend those two days like feverishly troubleshooting it to make sure I could get it to work so I just thought let's just go ahead and bite the bullet and just return it and start over but yeah that's my update so i'll see you tomorrow in day three day three of learning how to sew and i got my new machine and i've already got it ready it came set up i'll show you what i mean i don't know if this is just normal but it came it already had like it has this like little bobbin holder threaded through the needle already and it's already caught down here like it's ready to go i don't know if that's just something nice that singer did or what the situation is with that but let's go ahead and try her out i'm just going to be doing the same test that i've been doing sewing two pieces of scrap fabric together so let's go ahead and put it on the machine So I can go ahead and tell you that that felt a thousand times better than the last machine. I don't know if the last machine I got was just a dud, but this one felt way smoother, way easier to control the foot pedal and it just like felt better. I'm really glad I tried the other one before my return window closed. I didn't, I don't think I sewed a perfectly straight line on that one, but I think I did a pretty good job. So I'm going to try it again. So I also went ahead and tested out a zigzag stitch and I think that that turned out really really good too. So I think the method of action is that I'm going to try to make some scrunchies. So it is nap time so I don't have a ton of time left so I'm going to go ahead and cut out my fabric that I'm going to use to make scrunchies later tonight. So let's go. So this really cute silky fabric is what I'm going to try to make a scrunchie out of. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it out so that I have enough to make one. Okay, so I got this little loop turner tool, so let's try to use this. So because I fully commit to everything I do, I also I got the bodkin thing. So I'm going to use this to clip onto my elastic. And let's start it through. So I'm going to try to sew this together a little bit. This fabric is very much wanting to fray, so I'm gonna try to like limit the amount of times I have to mess with it. 
It was crazy the amount of rage I got here. Okay, so I've tucked in my open sides and now I'm just going to sew it together. Now we see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's good. I probably could have done more towards the top, but let's check it out. Okay, so I just need to cut off these long strings. Yeah, I got it sewn together, and look. I got my scratchy. How cool is that? I don't want to brag, but I just did that. I just did that. I probably could have made my elastic a little bit closer together, but look. I made scratchy. I might make another one of those tonight, so I'll check in just a little bit. learning how to sew and today I think I'm gonna try to be a little bit adventurous and I'm gonna try to tackle a tote bag or at least get the fabric cut out for it so let's go ahead and head to my cutting station also I'm wearing my scrunchie So I have my lining and I have my outer fabric and I have to make a couple more precise cuts but then I will set them up on the machine.
So now I've got the bag almost done. I just need to finish the seams. So I'm gonna flip it inside out and do a couple of things and I'll be right back. I'll lay it out flat and I'll do some modeling with it. Hold on. So here is the final bag. I think it looks super duper good. Could it be better? Definitely. Is it perfect? No. But I think for my first time ever doing that, that is so good. And there's the lining inside. The only thing that I did mess up kind of like, not major on, but is it this one or this one? This one, I thought I had it the right way. This strap was kind of like twisted. But that's fine. It's just for me, so it doesn't really matter. But I think it's perfect. I may box it out, like, you know, where you, like, make it so that these are more boxy so it can, like, stand up with stuff in it on its own. But I think I'm just going to leave it as is for now. I'll do a little modeling shot of it. So there she is. And then inside, the line. Who is she? I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I was gonna tackle a third project and try to make a baby blanket, but when I unrolled my fabric earlier today, there was like three pretty sizable holes in the fabric. So I'm gonna have to take that back to Joann's and get some more fabric. So stay tuned for a later video where I make a baby blanket. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me as I learned to sew. I think it was pretty successful. I mean, I only did like a couple of projects, but definitely my confidence has skyrocketed. It's definitely through the roof. So I feel like I could tackle any project. If you like this video, please be sure to like it and subscribe and stay tuned for next week's video. Next week's video is probably gonna be more craft fair prep and I've got some really cool DIYs that I'm gonna be working on. So yeah, and without further ado, thanks for watching.